Good morning, good morning, good morning, or good afternoon, good evening, depending on when and where you're watching this live. This is the voice and the face of Dr. Ola Denton. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Living Spring Family Medical Center here in the awesome city of Mansfield, Texas. I'm excited to be with you today um, for another Facebook Live um, on the topic. Doc, I have had pain for a long time. Any tips to help me? If you are watching live, please comment hashtag live. If you are watching replay, hashtag replay, tag a friend um, and have them come join us to see you know, what we can learn today and what can help improve the quality and quantity of life. Let's see, it's saying we're having issues. Huh. All right, it says they're having issues streaming on Facebook. I deleted. Da, 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 da. Okay, we on Facebook. Let me see. Sorry, we're having a little bit of technical issues. I want to make sure that this is streaming live to all the platforms that we have. And uh, let me see. Okay. All right. And we have our guests in the background. Give me one second. Let me make sure. It says it's having issues streaming. Okay, if we have to share this after the fact, then we may have to do that. It looks like it's, it's streaming on it, on on LinkedIn and YouTube, but not quite um, on Facebook. Okay, that's that's fine. We'll share this after the fact. Now, um, before I have my guest on, I just want to chat a little bit about why we have these talks. Um, we do this with our clients, with our patients in mind, and we do this to help improve your quality and quantity of life. So if you know someone, like I said, who could use this, please share this to, with them tag them in the comments. And also if there are topics you want us to talk about, I'll be happy to come on here and have a discussion if it will help improve um, your quality of, and of course your quantity of life. Um, at this time, I'm going to bring my, my guest on. Her name is Dr. Ruth Reed, Reed Thornton um, and she's a board certified uh, PM and R doctor. She's also a holistic and in integrative medicine doctor who has helped patients rehabilitate from injuries and complications of diseases. Um, I also have one more favor to ask before I bring her on. If this has been meaningful to you, please like, subscribe. It helps empower us to keep keeping the message or pushing the message across um, for people who could who could benefit from this. All right. That being said, I'm going to have her come on. on. Hi, Doc. If I was Hey, Dr. Tolu. Good to see you. <laughs> Saturday. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. It's early here, very early in here in California. So, <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, uh, thank you for uh, agreeing to do this so early in the day for you. Oh, um, sure. I, I think it's about six, six o'clock there. there yes. Yeah. I, I saw that because I know I'm, I'm talking with you afterwards and I'm like, oh my gosh, she woke up early for this. So, I appreciate you doing this. Mm -hmm. um, before you join, I was just introducing you, but I'm going to hand, hand it over to you. Kindly introduce yourself. Who are you, Doc, and what do you do? Oh, sure, sure. So, uh, again, thank you so much for having me. I really am honored. Um, I'm Dr. Ruth Reed Thornton, as you said, or Dr. Ruth, a lot of uh, people call me. Um, I've been board certified in physical medicine and rehabilitation for more than 20 years. Um, I also got certified in holistic and integrative medicine. Really, I it was a journey. I um, I learned about internal, well, integrative holistic medicine uh, through another doctor who wasn't practicing straight physiatry or traditional medicine anymore. She said that her first step was going to a food as medicine conference. I went to the food as medicine conference and I was really blown away. away you know, traditionally in med school, we're just not taught about the importance of nutrition. And we think it's not important, but it actually is very important. I learned, my goodness, uh, which a lot of things now we're talking about, but at the time I was learning, it's like the, the microbiome and the importance of the probiotics and prebiotics, and all those things. I had no clue. The other thing though, is that um, I really like my specialty, PM&R because I really like the idea that we're working with the full person, not just a body part, not just an organ system, and and the idea is to help them function in their community. And I noticed that I had a little resistance or reluctance when I saw the people with chronic pain. 
And this was, I'm talking a long time ago, which is not like me. I mean, I love people. So I had to look at what is, what is it with me? Why am I, why am I, you know, kind of like having this thing? But the thing is, I like to see people get better. <laughs> I like to see people get better. So it's been an interesting journey of learning myself and passing on what I've learned because I've actually seen people with chronic pain get better. And that's, that's just been a blessing. So. Now, you mentioned the name PM&R. I don't think a lot of people know what that is, okay? Um, so yeah. I want you to, if you don't mind, just kind of spell that out a little bit so our viewers know what that is. What that yeah, means. sure. I know. We're like the best kept secret in, <laughs> in medicine. Um, it's been around since the 40s, since World War II. Basically, it started as uh, a specialty to help um, the, the war veterans coming back from the war, World War mm. II, with, with injuries. And... Um, you can say we're a cross between neurologists and orthopedists. We don't do surgery, however, but um, we work with those same um, diagnoses, those same clients. So, and as I said, I work I work with physical therapists, occupational therapists, um, speech therapists. Um, you know, we're the the medical um, part of that medical team uh, to help uh, with people um, with their injuries. So. Okay. Why do you do what you do? Oh my goodness. Uh, that's a very good question. That elevator answer. I really, I love people, you know, I love people. Um, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't naturally good at science. So, you know, I wanted to do this because it was difficult. I could have done something else that was, would have been easier for me to do, <laughs> but um it's been rewarding. And uh, I, I just have to say I was called to it. That, that's really all I can say is I was called to it. And, um, and I know that I'm, I'm doing a good work. Awesome. I love it. I love that you own um, what you do and that you know that you're making uh, an impact. That's very, very important. It keeps you going. Um, awesome. Awesome. So my first question, Doc, let's talk pain. Um, what are the different types of pain? You know, I know there's a lot loaded question. Um, and, and, and what essentially is pain? That's a good question. Pain um, is a noxious or <laughs> noxious just means a fancy word for pain, but it, it can be both an emotional and physical unpleasant experience, uh, either from actual tissue damage or the perception of, you know, it, but um, that that's sort of it in a nutshell. I, if I read it, I would I could read a better um, definition <laughs> than what I just said. But that, that's that's kind of it. It's both emotional and it is is it is physical and it's unpleasant. Mm -hmm. And and so the next question brings the next question. Um, and you know this this is is a very like our whole goal here is to help patients with chronic pain kind of thrive um, much more than just kind of chug through life, but to thrive. And so I like that you're an integrative um, medicine doctor as well. Are there any lifestyle changes, generally speaking, mm -hmm. that um, if a seven patient I'm asking that I can I can make to help manage my pain? What would you say to that? Absolutely. There's so many things. Um, one, they should really look at their diet. A lot of us, the standard American diet is really an unhealthy diet what we eat as just normal um, unfortunately because um, most of us don't eat vegetables at all uh, or very few uh, the only vegetable maybe we eat is french fries that's <laughs> that's just not not sufficient um, so just even making those kind of changes it, having seven to nine different fruits and vegetables a day i know that sounds like a lot I have, I have, I have been just struggling with, with three a day. You say what? How many? Seven to nine different fruits and vegetables a day. I didn't say it. They yes. It. So they used to say five fruits and vegetables a day. I don't know if you remember that mm -hmm. one. I remember the five. five yes. Five. Yeah. But the thing is, um, our soil is so depleted. You know, they used to do whatever they had to do to kind of replenish the soil. They're not, they don't do that anymore. It's mm -hmm. the um, industrial uh, farming is not the same. And so um, the fruits and vegetables don't have as many, as much of the nutrients as they used to have. So that's why 
they're recommending uh, people eat more every day. But you know, you can do that if you spread it throughout the day. You can do that if you put it put them in a smoothie, in a salad, um, a soup. You know, there's ways to to get it in there. <laughs> so, uh, um, yeah, seven to nine different fruits and vegetables a day. Lots of water. You know, some people just an average eight glasses a day, but as much as you can. I know a lot of us don't, we just don't drink enough water, water. either. So, um, and we are really like 70, 80% water, you know, but many times if we're not drinking enough water, there's so many different things that happen. Your, um, your metabolism, your functions, your bodily functions are not functioning at their optimum because, you know, everything's slowed up when you, when you fully hydrate, then all your your physiologic um, reactions that are going on in your body can mm. optimize. They're optimized. A lot of times, people will feel more energetic when they're drinking more water. Um, uh, exercise on a regular basis is very helpful, even with people with chronic pain. And I know that um, probably somebody will say, "I can't. It hurts to exercise. Mm. I, I can't exercise. It makes it worse." And that may be the, the case at first, and you may have to work with a therapist or um, learn some, some things that you can do without aggravating your pain. But the, the whole idea is um, when you uh, have pain and you become sedentary, you're making your body weaker. And when you make your body weaker, then it does hurt more to move. So, you know, you kind of have to do those things to counter that. Sometimes people, especially if it's joints, um, they might find that it helps them to do aqua, aqua therapy because they're, your body's more buoyant. You can move more easily in the water without, without it causing pain. So um, that's something that I put out there. Yeah. Awesome. You said a lot and, and I, I wanted to go back to the fruits and veggies. So okay. <laughs> I, 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 people are like, Oh, uh, seven to nine fruits. Like, how do I know? I say your fist size, five to okay. so five, like seven to nine fist size worth a day. And I love how you mentioned the different varieties of how you do it. You can slurp, you can slurp it, you can blend it, you can dice it, you can chop it, you can freeze it, whatever it takes from to get it from outside your mouth to inside your mouth. Mm -hmm. And and the truth is, these changes it's not like overnight. It's like who you understand. But I, I want to encourage those who who are watching, based on what Dr. Thornton said as well that you keep doing this uh, rather mundane, repetitive things, over time, you notice a difference. Mm -hmm. I've had patients say when they did the Daniels fast, that their mm -hmm. joints hurt less. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, how much of the Daniels fast can you consume? And Daniels fast is essentially where you leave meats and you just right. eat fruits and vegetables for a period of time. And, you know, almost like a way to reset your body, spirit, mm -hmm. and soul too. So it's, it's um, I really wanted to kind of highlight those things that you said. They sound very simple. Please do them. Um, your body will thank you for it. Right, right, right. There was a study in Guam. Um, I'm not sure what year it was done. It was host, uh, um, sponsored by Loma Linda University, but they basically have an uh, epidemic of diabetes there. Mm -hmm. So you know, mm -hmm. we're not talking about chronic pain, but similar issues. Um, and they took half of the, the control, basically just took their medications um, and the non-control, the, the experimental mm -hmm. group um, had diet and exercise. So they were eating healthy. They were walking 30 minutes twice a day um, and, you know, eating maybe chicken, uh, not, not, not eating red meat. Anyway, within a week's time, the, all the, the people who were in the experiment started wondering what's going on because they were having bowel movements every day and they were used to having it like once a week <laughs> and they didn't, they didn't know what was going on. <laughs> um, but that actually, that's, you're supposed to go at least once a day. <laughs> People don't realize um, within a couple of weeks, they noticed their joints, you know, were not so painful, you know? So it, it was, it's interesting. It was a three month study. I think they had to abort it early because the, the control group started, you know, want to do, they, I want to get better too. So they started doing the stuff that the, <laughs> That the experimental group was doing, which you know messed things up, but um, yeah, it helped their diabetes, it helped their blood pressure, it helped their cholesterol, all the things that we have issues with exercise, diet it just made a huge difference for, for the whole community, you know. So, we, we don't emphasize it enough, I think, in our society. Who's 
you know, that's another issue, but who's profiting from teaching you preventive stuff, you know? So anyway, um, yeah, it, it, it does make, make a huge difference and can make a difference with your pain. Yeah. So be encouraged. You're worth it for those who are watching. All right, doc. My next question is, can you recommend, of course, these are medical suggestions. We do definitely encourage patients and people watching to make an appointment with your own doctors to come up with a plan that's customized for you. But doc, can you, can you recommend generally, generally speaking, any exercises or maybe not particularly physical therapy, but to help people manage their pain? Sure, sure. And and what you just said was important too. If, if someone doesn't know the cause of their pain, especially you've had even just a couple of weeks of pain and it's not going away, you should see your doctor. You know, so be examined, be evaluated. You don't don't just use Doctor Google. You know, just find yeah. out what's what's going on. Right. Um, just as simple, some just as simple as as uh, as walking. As just as simple as walking. Uh, would be a great exercise. Um, you say, I can't walk. Walk for five minutes. You know, walk for five minutes until walking for five minutes is comfortable. And then you can walk for 10 minutes, you know. Um, start where you are. Breathing exercises. Mm. And it sounds like you're, you know, not moving much at all, but many of us don't take deep enough breaths. We're not bringing in enough oxygen, you know. So if you could even learn just to, to meditate and breathe, that is a very, very minor in terms of exercise, but it can do wonders for you, you know, to, to get you um, started. I think um, for myself, I, I have issues with, uh, with tightness, my shoulders and, and, uh, and neck, and I find uh, vinyasa yoga, which is more stretching, mm -hmm. stretching and holding it um, is very, very helpful. Um, so especially if you if you say I I really can't move and you're stiff, you you want to do things like that. So okay. that's some of the suggestions. Mm -hmm. uh, movement. Movement. Movement is key. All right. Um, Doc, next question. Are there any supplements? Because you know, there are a lot of over-the-counter type stuff. Um, um, are there maybe supplements or other at home, let's say at home uh, things that people can do for pain? Is it easily accessible, not, um, doesn't break the bank? What would you say to that, Doc? Yeah, so there's lots of um, uh, studies around apple cider vinegar. I don't know if you've seen those. They're actually, I believe they're true. You know, um, for some reason, uh, many of the, as I was talking about the standard American diet is too acidic. Mm -hmm. But our bodies are, what is our pH level, 7.6 or something like that. Anyway. Wow. Having uh, the apple cider vinegar, like um, they, it comes in capsules too, but you could make it into a tea. I, I have had that with, you know, some some honey. Um, it helps to to put us back at a at a better, um, less acidic uh, balance and more healthy for us. And they found it's helped with inflammation. It's helped with a lot of a lot of things. Um, I can't think off the hand with that. So that's something very inexpensive. That's you know probably in your kitchen. Um, turmeric is known. Um, lots of studies that show it's a strong anti-inflammatory. Very very good. Um, having these anti-inflammatories that from your food as opposed to say in a pill uh, might be a. a better way to do it, less less uh, risk of the complications of if you're taking, say, Motrin, you know, every day for, for, for months versus taking turmeric. Um, it, it may be a, a better way to get your anti-inflammatory without having, you know, the concentrated thing that's in a pharmaceutical. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, that's another one. And you know, turmeric is an it's is a seasoning. So I mean, you if you if you like curry, <laughs> you know, you have it in in your food. But it also, you know, they're they're putting it in teas. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, I, I recommend apple cider vinegar for quite a few things, including acid reflux. You know, can play it too. But it, it's it's it tastes though. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> Can't let it sit for long because even the smell is like well, but it it definitely helps. <clears throat> turmeric definitely. Um, you can put that in your foods or your seasoning. Um, I also like ginger. Ginger is a, a yes, I love ginger. Food. Absolutely. 
Yeah. I'm going around chewing ginger all the time. I'm like, yes, anti-inflammatory. Yes. <laughs> all right, Doc. My next question. There's a lot you mentioned, Dr. Google, and I, I, I tend to caution my clients and, and people in general about Google searches. Uh, and so my question to you is this for someone who's watching, like, is there any support group or resources for people with chronic pain that they can relatively safely kind of go to to uh, see questions answered? What what would you say to that? That's a very good question. I have seen uh, lots of Facebook groups uh, for chronic pain, but I would say as far as a supportive group that's free to join, has lots of information, the American Chronic Pain Association. It is a lay organization for people who suffer from chronic pain. The, you know, the, it's everyone there suffers from chronic pain. They have resources uh, that you can you can either get for free or some for, for purchase that that could be helpful um, to people. Uh, so that that's one that I would recommend. All right, awesome. The American Chronic Pain Association. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Thank you, thank you. So there you have it. All right, Doc, just a final word for our viewers, for someone who's watching, who's saying, yes, you know, I've been, you know, they've been dealing with this chronic pain for so long. And um, some days if you're frustrated, frustrated and any last words of encouragement to them, Doc? Absolutely. I, I think it's important to understand that Chronic pain changes your brain. It, it just does. And chronic opioid use also changes your brain, both in the, in the bad way. <laughs> um, so I would uh, recommend that people have hope, even if it's just a, a mustard seed size, because the, the, the point is that these things cause depression. Um, it's, it's no no coincidence of course it makes sense you get depressed because you can't move and you're in pain but physiologically things are happening as well so you know the things that cause joy or bring joy are so important um uh, a gratitude for what you do have you know because whatever positive things uh you need um they will help you with your healing. So I've, I've had lots of people to tell me, oh, this pain will never go away. It's nine out of 10, it's eight out of 10. And after working with, with me and doing the things that, um, that they particular need to do, and they're saying it's five out of 10. I said, see, you said your pain will never get better. You know, mm -hmm. um, it's three out of 10. You know, hey, it can get better. Mm -hmm. It can get better. Um, mm -hmm. So don't lose heart. Um, fight those thoughts when you have those thoughts to say, you know, I'm stuck. No, fight that. No, I may not have found a solution yet. I, there's a solution out there. I will find it. <laughs> you know, you have to, you have to, uh, to be positive. You have to have hope. Uh, so that would be my suggestion. Um, cling to things that contribute to your joy um, and fight negative thoughts. I love it, Doc. This has been very, very powerful. Um, and I'm trusting that those who are watching this, you know, also are encouraged by it and are powered by it. And that leads me to my next question, Doc. Where can people find you to connect with you, have you come speak on their platforms, or just to follow you also for content, content that applies to their lives and that makes for a better quality of life, Doc? Where can people find you? Sure. So my practice is a telehealth coaching practice, Chronic Pain Rescue. So chronicpainrescue.com. I'm on Facebook. Uh, Chronic Pain Rescues on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Pinterest. Uh, you can find lots of content there. Um, people can work with me. Um, I'm uh, forming a group therapy uh, program, which I think the group is helpful. You know, that African proverb, proverb that says, uh, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. So I, I just think that having that community would be helpful um, for for anyone. You know, when you're trying to overcome whatever it is you, that you're you're looking to do, having that accountability, having um, you know that that we're all working on the same goal. So um, yeah, they they definitely can uh, can follow me on any of those those uh, platforms on uh, Thursday, August. Uh, 31st, 7 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, I'll be having a chronic pain masterclass. They can go and sign up for that for free. Um, we'll talk 
more in depth about, you know, how does how does how does chronic pain develop, and um, what are the things that can be done uh, to uh, to get out of it. Awesome, yeah. awesome. You're on Pinterest, Doc. Yes. What you do? <laughs> Yeah, you know what? Pinterest actually lets you put reels on there. Yeah. You can, are you serious? Yeah. Oh my God, you are amazing. Oh. And, then, <laughs> and look, I got to say, uh, do me a favor though. When you do have that um, program, so it's, that's next That's next week. Can you can you tag me so I can share it? Yeah, I'll sure. To have people, Absolutely. Um, 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 uh, you know, get, get, I put it on the screen as well. You said August 31st, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I put it there Pacific time. So it'd be about, uh, two hours behind us for those who are watching. Right. Um, and I really want to appreciate you for taking the time. You, you are up at 6 AM to do this with mm -hmm. me. I appreciate you. You are awesome. I look forward to doing this with you again, maybe in a couple of months. So I always like to put you on the spot so you can't say no. Okay. Well, that would be this. fine. I would love to do it. <laughs> We'll do this again, but thank you so much for coming. This has blessed me as well. I'm taking notes, um, and I'm even more empowered to help people with this. So thank you. Thank you so much, Doc. All right. Thank you so much for having me. It's been a pleasure. All right. Awesome. And for those of you who are watching live, I appreciate you for watching live. Thank you. As always, share. Um, I, did, I, I can't tell who's watching live, so next time, maybe put a little comment so I can give you a shout out. But thank you for joining. And as always, if you or anyone you know is looking for a thorough a passionate and a caring family physician who will have conversations like this to help you live long and well. I am she. Have a good one, everyone. Doc, have a good one, okay? <laughs>